The Call is a Korean Netflix thriller horror that came out in 2020 and was directed by Lee Chong Hyun. I was excited to watch this one because of all the positive things I've been hearing about it for the past month. However, despite its strength, The Call left me unsatisfied. It doesn't really live up to its full potential despite having some strong components. I can praise the movie for its interesting concept, really good cinematography, and also for being unpredictable. It's not easy to guess the next twist the movie is going to throw at you. But ever since I watched the movie, a few days ago, I've been pondering why is it exactly that with all its strong moments, the movie still didn't fully work. And no matter how I spin it and turn it around, I come to the same conclusion every time. And that issue is the main characters. First, let's start with our protagonist, So Yeon, played by Park Shin Hae. And before diving into the character herself, let's look at the performance given by Park Shin Hae, who, with all due respect, wasn't really good in this movie. I'm not fully putting the blame on her. It could be a bad direction given to her, but regardless, she walks around with a straight face throughout the movie until the last 40 minutes. I don't know what exactly happened to cause the change, but in the last 40 minutes, the muscles in Park Shanae's face started moving and we could actually see some emotions. The craziest things happen to our main character in the movie, and yet her reactions are so mild. I wondered why wasn't I affected by some events as much as I should have been, and well, that's because her character doesn't seem to care so much either, so why would I care then? But enough about the acting, which does get better later in the movie. Let's talk about the core problem, which is the character herself, So Yun. Despite her being the lead, we barely know anything about her. We only know a bit about her family, and even that is connected to a certain tragedy that happens in the movie. But beyond that, we don't know anything about what kind of a person our protagonist is. I'm gonna talk about spoilers for a minute here, so if you wanna avoid spoilers, skip to this timestamp. Towards the end of the film, the villain Yong Suk discovers that apparently our protagonist So Yoon is a pathological liar, which was such a bizarre moment since there were no other scenes in the movie where this issue showed itself in our hero's actions. It would have worked if we suddenly realized that some actions our protagonist has taken throughout the movie do clearly show the traits of a pathological liar, but no. This trait never plays any role in the rest of the movie either, it was just thrown in there to justify the plot twist. So with all this, we are left with a character that is unfortunately just bland and boring. Now let's move to Young Sook, played by Jong Soo Jun, who gives the best performance out of the entire cast and therefore is the most memorable character as well. Her character is more of an intriguing one with clear family issues, but also some mental issues as well, but those things are not fully explained either. Once again, going to get into spoilers, so move to this timestamp to avoid them. She starts the movie living with a woman who is her adoptive mother, who treats her horribly by physically torturing her to rid her of the evil spirit. But beside that, we never get to know why the mother truly does the things she does, beside the reason that she is a shaman. Young Suk's situation and her mental state are never explained in the movie either. Why does her mother think she has been possessed by evil spirits? Why does she keep obeying her mother, not trying to run away? What is exactly wrong with her psyche? that she ended up in that position and then later became a serial killer. None of this is explained, so we are given a villain who could have been a really complex and a fascinating character, but unfortunately is underdeveloped just like her protagonist. An interesting character can make even a movie with a boring plot interesting enough to watch, but the opposite is not always true. If your plot is a strong one but your characters are bland and underdeveloped, then the movie won't have any emotional impact and therefore not connect with the audience as much as it could have otherwise. Yeah, there are plot holes in the call for sure, but if the characters were strong, then some of the plot holes could have been overlooked. Perhaps not everyone will agree with my statement about weak characters, but I think my next point is something that everyone who watched the call agrees is a major letdown, and that is the ending of the film. When you think the movie is over with the first name appearing as the start of the end credits, the movie throws one last twist at you, and that twist completely ruins the entire film. The film's initial ending was actually a satisfying one, and I wish they would have actually ended the movie there. In general, The Call has plenty of twists throughout its runtime, it's one of the movie's shticks, but the last one was absolutely unnecessary and feels like the director didn't know when to say stop and decided to throw one last curveball. In actuality though, it was most likely a decision made to create a possibility for a potential sequel.
sequel. And if this was an ending that appeared after the end credits finished, then you could think, oh well, I'll just forget about that ending. But it appears right at the start of the end credits, which means that the director clearly intended the whole audience to see it. Speaking of the director, The Call was Lee Chung Hyun's first feature length film, and so some of the mistakes can be justified by his lack of experience. Despite all its weak points and me talking about the negative points in the film, I still had a fun time watching The Call, and I do think it is a movie worth checking out, and I can see why a lot of people enjoy it. Thank you so much for watching this video, let me know in the comments below have you seen The Call and if you have, what do you think about it? If you haven't seen it, it is available on Netflix so check it out and then come back and share your thoughts, I am curious about your opinion. Also in the description below there is a link for my playlist of all the Korean movie reviews I've done so far and also links for both of my social media accounts, Twitter and Instagram, so check them out if you're interested. Also if you enjoyed the video guys, leave a like and if you don't want to miss my other movie and TV show related videos, subscribe to this channel. Bye.